Hey everyone, so I got asked a bunch of times how to make French toast. So I'm just gonna do a quick video showing you guys what I do to make French toast. It's really simple, really easy. It usually takes five minutes to make a good one. So here it goes. So this is really weird because it's kind of like a cooking show. My sister is recording right now. Are you serious? <laughs> All right, so we've got Texas toast. I always use Texas toast. It's a thicker bread instead of just like any other bread. Um, 2% milk, eggs, ground cinnamon, nutmeg, and pure vanilla extract. So we start with the eggs. So I'm making French toast for four people. So we want to use at least four eggs, but I'll probably use, mm, I'll fill six for this. Just crack the eggs, oh, in the bowl. I'm not the best at cracking eggs, but I don't get any shells in it, so it's really all that matters. Six eggs cracked here. And then we wanna take some milk. I don't measure anything. I just go off the eye. That seems to be about enough. I'll see if I need more when we whisk it all together. Then we take the ground cinnamon. Notice nothing I have is name brand. Kroger eggs, this is off brand Texas toast. Oh, we do have McCormick ground nutmeg, but my husband had that before we got married, so. <laughs> all right. Sprinkle some cinnamon in there. You don't need a bunch, but you can do it based off of your taste buds. Nutmeg, you really just need a dash of this. And a dash of... All right, so next we're just gonna take a whisk. I, I either use a whisk or a fork, whatever one is easier for you. But just whisk it all together. Okay, now we have moved over to the stove. I have my, what is this called? A square griddle, I guess. But I always make anything with bread on this because it's square and I just feel like bread is square so you should make it on something that's square. Then we have our butter. We use, I can't believe it's not butter, but butter does not discriminate. You can use whatever kind of butter you want. We brung the mixture over here and the bread, and now we're just going to cook it. So, take some butter. If I have a spatula, and I don't. All right. Just gonna take a heap of butter. Place it. So if you notice it's smoky like that, I like to turn it down. I don't want the French toast cooking that fast. All We're also going to turn the fan on just in case. My apartment likes to uh, set off the smoke alarms even though there's no smoke. All right. Then you want to take one of your Texas toasts what you're gonna do is dip it both sides of the bread, like so. And then just place it on your oven. And you do that with the rest of them, however many you want to do. So as you continue to dip your bread in and out of the mixture, um, some cinnamon doesn't get on it. I like my French toast a little bit more cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon? I don't know. Lots of cinnamon, well not lots. You know what I'm saying. But I just sprinkle just a little bit more on the bread. Just to have it a bit more sweet. So after about three minutes, you wanna flip it over. I like mine a little bit more crispy, but these, you can judge it however you want to. And then wait 
for it to cook on the other side. All right, so once they're done cooking, you just want to plate them. And you want to butter your bread. Again, you can butter it as much as you want or add no butter, it's up to you. But I like mine again, sweet and buttery. Then this is something I do, not everyone goes this far, but I will. I'm gonna cut the pieces in half. Get some extra, I'm gonna plate it nicely. Take powdered sugar, any brand will do. Paste it in here and coat with the powdered sugar. After that, you can then add syrup or top it with any type of fruit that you want. Um, last time, me and Tony did peach cobbler. Um, but yeah, that is it. Quick five minutes, breakfast anytime, lunch, dinner, breakfast for dinner, French toast.